what we're going towards. And the only thing I'll tell you about this show, when I tell you a sure thing, I back it. Sure thing, there's going to be two, at least 20 team conferences between the Big Ten and the SEC. Miami, Florida State, Clemson, and North Carolina are going to be in the SEC pretty quick. North Carolina's basketball helps them a lot along those lines, but those four teams are going to be coming in here to go along with maybe a couple more from the West Coast. You're seeing today in the Pac-12, four teams there. Uh, uh, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and Arizona State are meeting with the Big 12 today about going into their conference. So if they do that, you know, the, the Pac-12 is going to be on life support. All you got left is Stanford, Oregon, Oregon State, and Washington. You got to believe that Washington and Oregon are viable to a lot of conferences, particularly the Big Ten. If you get them in there too, then you got a whole half of the Pac-12 coming in the Big Ten. Uh, Virginia and Pitt are very viable going to the Big Ten uh, with their uh, eastern market. When you look up and down the eastern seaboard, uh, all the, 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 the markets with um, Virginia Beach, Richmond, all that stuff coming in there, and you add that to the Maryland already in the Big Ten, Rutgers in the Big Ten, and then you bring Pittsburgh, the whole state of Pennsylvania. So all of a sudden, Big Ten is going to be fighting just like SEC. And what we're going to see – is eight or 12 team playoff. And when that bid comes up in 2025 for the playoffs, it's going to be monumental. You know, right now ESPN's got that, but all of a sudden when you got eight or 12 team buying for that, who knows what's going to happen. So right. These teams down that you said, uh, give me that again. Well, he said Miami, he said Florida state, he said North Carolina and was it Clemson? Right. Okay. My question, my my follow up, would Duke and North Carolina be willing to be in different conferences? I don't think North Carolina's in a position to worry too much about Duke. I mean, Duke's you know, Duke basketball is 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 what's going to help them, but their football has been terrible the last seven or eight years. Cutcliffe did a good job, but but they they're, they don't draw anybody to to their football games. And you look at these teams. And when you sit around like I got time, like Roddy, and we sit around and watch all this stuff, but uh, I don't know if he does it or not. He's always on this political stuff. But uh, the, thing, <laughs> the, the thing that you see is what do these when a, when a marquee game is on, Oklahoma or Texas is on in the Big Twelve, then you got a pretty good Fox. You know, at twelve o'clock, Fox gets a lot of of uh, you know people watching. But who else? People aren't watching Texas Tech and uh, TCU. They're not watching Kansas and Kansas State. So all of a sudden, Big 12's got to have something to show these people that are bidding for their rights that now we've got Colorado, uh, you know, Utah, all these teams coming in. And uh, even though they're in the, you know, they're also got the teams that we know they're coming in there. When Oklahoma and Oklahoma, excuse me, Oklahoma and Texas left, they picked up. Cincinnati, uh, U, uh, University of Central Florida, a couple more teams in the end of the Big 12, but that's going to be two more years. So what you're going to see maybe is Oklahoma and Texas might be able to get in our league in 2023 uh, instead of 2024, 2025, I think, with all these teams moving around. 